Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, and for those of the, uh, the, 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 stop. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, and for those that you don't know me, my name's Diane, and I'm part of UK Disney Vlog. We're a family who love Disney, basically, sharing our adventures, going away, and at the minute, I'm doing weekly vlogs. Are you impressed, guys? For those that you don't know me, that was quite professional. <laughs> Sorry. I thought I'd try and be a proper YouTuber for once. Did it work? I think by carrying on saying this conversation, it's totally not working. But everyone else does the intro, so I thought I'd better do it myself. So we're at another weekly vlog again. Thank you everyone that's watched the previous vlogs. Um, I think this is week five now. Um, I really, we all really appreciate your support around there. We all love reading your comments. So please, if you do watch, leave a comment. It means the world to me that you're actually watching and supporting my little channel, which has been great. Um, my subscriber figure has gone up a little bit, which is amazing. I think 907, just to hit the 950 mark, maybe a few more 970. Almost close to that 1,000 subscribers. I know I shouldn't be focused on numbers, but when you're that close, it feels amazing. So there, this is another weekly vlog. Today is Saturday. I want to say good morning, but it's not. It's half past two in the afternoon. I woke up about two hours ago because I have been on a night shift. Um, if you're new to my channel and have just found me, I do work shifts, I work nights, I work all sorts of hours for the NHS. So I'm allowed to have a sleep. So I've had about four hours kip um, and then I've got up, had some lunch, watched a couple of vlogs and then I'm just heading out the door in a minute. Um, yeah, so come and join us for this weekly vlog. Um, I hope you enjoy coming with us. Um, not sure of our major plans at the moment. Winging it as everyone else is during lockdown because you can't really do a great deal. No, absolutely nothing. Uh, the weather at the minute looks really cold. Um, not f it's like blowing and blowing. <laughs> Wind windy <sighs> and not raining and it looks dry but I think it's quite cold outside. So heading out the door, going to nip to the shops and we'll take you with us. So we've come out. I am currently sat in my car at work. I'm, I've come to work because David is getting his COVID vaccine. Um, I got an email from work yesterday to say if you live with anybody over the age of 70 or if you've got somebody at home that's vulnerable or somebody that works in healthcare and social care that's um, not yet had the vaccine, then you can get them the vaccine as part of working with me. Um, so that's what we've done. For those that you don't know, um, in 2019 when we were doing the Vlogmas, David was really poorly with pneumonia and got admitted to hospital. Now this has never happened to him before, he's never been like this and he just suddenly came on with this, um, yeah, so he just suddenly came on with the pneumonia, didn't present with the typical symptoms, but didn't feel short of breath, had a bit of a cough, went to hospital with problems that he thought was related to his um, previous problems with his kidney, but as it transpired he had low SATs, we put him on oxygen and he got pneumonia. Now we're thinking, that he probably possibly had coronavirus. Now, officially, it wasn't in the UK then, but I think a lot of people around that time of year were suffering with symptoms like this. A friend, a colleague of his was similar, in and out of work with this chronic cough, this thing that never disappeared. So we personally think that he had coronavirus back then in the December, obviously it was then in, came out in the news in the January about um, Wuhan. So yeah, we think, I personally think that's it. He was a healthy guy beforehand and suddenly developed pneumonia, which obviously is quite a rare thing for him to get. Since then, he has been struggling. So I know a lot of people that have had coronavirus have had post-COVID syndrome, sort of like post-COVID, long COVID it's called, and have been struggling with breathlessness. Um, yeah, so he's just basically been struggling ever since. He's now sort of being diagnosed asthmatic, so he takes inhalers. Um, and he's going through lung function tests. He's having lots of regular uh, checkups with the GP. So he is classed as a vulnerable person now. And when we got this email, it, uh, it was great. So we managed to get a David appointment and he just had his vaccine and he's waiting there. He has to wait 15 minutes after the vaccine and then he's gonna come back to us. 
So it's great. Um, obviously, David's been self-isolating, not self-isolating, shielding from work. So they sent him home when um, everything happened um, to work from home. And prioritized him with quite a, with the last the first lockdown, and then he has been working at home for a very long time since then. So it's positive news. So yeah, so that's David and I both vaccinated. Um, my dad's had his vaccination. My father-in-law's due to have his this week. Otherwise, I'd have got him sorted through work. So it's all good. Um, all moving in the right direction. Let's just hope we can get out of this together. So I'm sat in my car, watching Mr. David and Mr. Ian finish watching their Saturday vlog. It was fabulous as always. Um, I'm currently charging my car, so. I don't know if you can see. I'm sat in it and I'm charging it. Why not? But I'm getting really cold now because the heating's not on and I'm freezing and my fingers are turning white. <laughs> David won't be long, probably another five, uh, ten minutes or so. Um, heading off to Lidl or Aldi or one of the shops. David wants some stuff from Wix, another DIY shop again. Um, and this evening, I think we're gonna have takeaway. Um, Emily really wants Nando's, um, so we might get a takeaway in Nando's um, and have a family board night, board game night, or movie night, or something like that. Um, just try and get the kids away from their own TV bedrooms and then come down and join us as a family. So, yeah, that's it for the rest of the afternoon. Um, I'll wait for David to come back and we'll see him in a minute. How was it? It's fine. Which arm was it? The right one. That one? Yes. Painful? Did it hurt? No. Yeah, it doesn't hurt, does it? Tiny scratch. Tiny scratch. So make sure you all go for your vaccines when you can go for it. Yeah? You agree? When's your next one? April. How many weeks away? About four, four weeks? End of April. End of April. So there we go, guys. Doesn't hurt. Go for your vaccines. home from the shops and went to Lidl making a nice brew um I think it looks like we're a pair of junkies because the food we bought is like a teenage shop that we've got the munchies I bought some wine I bought some cider and I bought all this junk food which is not great I'm having a bit of a one cheat day yeah, it's the weekend it's allowed but this is what we bought so we bought these donuts from Lidl I haven't bought myself one don't know why and then we bought all this junk food. So we're gonna have a pick a mix later for the movie night, some marshmallows, some fizzy worms, some Henry Hippos, which are assumed are the same as Percy Pig, Pringles, some chip sticks. Emily has been asking for some blueberry muffins for ages, so we got this, but we also got this. Has anybody else tried this chocolate? It is incredible. Cornflake cakes in a chocolate bar. It's just amazing. So I'll be opening that in a minute. But David went shopping by himself today, didn't you? And what did you buy? Chocolate milk. He bought himself some of this chocolate milk. If he goes to the shops by himself, he comes home with a giant bottle of it. And apparently it's the best chocolate milk in the world. Yeah. Listen. Apparently it's the best chocolate milk in the world. I'm not sure, I don't I think I've actually ever had it. I used to have bottles and bottles of this. It's chocolate milk. Fresh, it's not new age too. It's quite nice chocolate milk. I'm just gonna have this brew and get some and get some chocolate. I've got the shakes all of a sudden, so I need to get some sugar inside me. So I've been doing some online shopping recently, as I did with the other lockdown. Um, I've ordered myself some more hair products, and after watching the Despicable Three, I went on Depop and had a bit of a browse on there, and I have found the most incredible T-shirt. I'll show you that in a minute. So I've ordered myself some more hair products from Boot Club. It's come, it comes really lovely packaging. 
it's really nice. So I've ordered myself some more of this. This is how I do my curls. So I've got some Boo Clem Curl Defying Curl Cream. So I put that on wet hair. I then follow it with the Curl Defining Gel. So I've had both of these products before and I absolutely love them. Bought them back in April and I've only just finished them. So that shows how long they've lasted. It's a little bit on the pricey side, more than I would normally pay for a product, but it has lasted a really long time. And I bought this new one as well. I only bought a small bottle of it, just because I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not. So this is the Super Hold Styler. So I'm gonna give this one a go. But the t-shirt I got is just incredible. Let me show you. So this is my t-shirt from Depop and it is incredible. And if you don't know already, we are hopefully going to Universal Studios for the very first time. Well, Harry, well, not the first time. We're going for the first time in eight years. Um, Harry was only four months old when he went. Emily was like six and we've not been for years. But this is a retro Universal t-shirt. And how amazing is that? I got it, they only had one size. It's very rare to be able to get one of these. I think it was 30 pounds. Um, I don't think there's any postage involved. It is a large, it's slightly bigger for me, but oh, it's amazing. I am so chuffed with that. It's just sort of like an old retro Universal Studios logo. How cool! I can't wait to wear it. We're doing something naughty. What have we got? Harry's got pizza. We've got, spin it around. Nando's. Mm. Yummy, yummy. I've got a whole chicken. Emily's got a wrap. And I'm not a whole chicken. I've got a chicken. <laughs> Definitely not a whole. And David's got a burger. Get on and eat. I am so full. That Nando's was amazing. So I had half a chicken and some peri fries and a corn on the cob. Emily had a wrap with some spicy rice and fries. David had a chicken burger and obviously Harry had the pizza. <sighs> full. It was delicious though. We've just watched the episode four of WandaVision. It is getting interesting now. First two episodes, you've got to bear with it if anyone's watched it. The second two, the, the, the third and fourth one, I get a lot better. So the fourth one especially, it comes more a bit more relevant and it gets more a bit more intriguing. Um, I'm really looking forward to finding out where it's going now. So yeah, I really enjoyed that episode and I can't wait for the next one. It really makes a change to watch a series sort of like weekly. I think we're all so used to binge watching and that sort of, that now culture, isn't it? We're all used to getting it on demand and watching it, binge watching the whole series and not having to wait for episodes to come out. So it really makes a change actually, that there's something for, look, to look forward to every week um, and not something I can binge watch all at once. I think we're going to go on quite play some board games tonight, maybe a bit of Uno, um, hoping to watch um, that Saturday Night Discussions. Um, I'm doing some crochet, old lady alert, old lady alert, so I've showed you before, I am getting creative, getting my creative vibe on and finishing off some crochet, sorry the lighting's not very good, so this is where I'm up to. That is what I am doing, enjoying a glass of wine, how much um, it'll affect me because obviously I've only had a couple of hours sleep, I might be asleep before 9 o'clock at this rate but hopefully not, I'm normally quite good on nights and switching between the two, not sure what I've got planned for tomorrow, yeah this is just life in lockdown and sometimes I quite enjoy it quite enjoy not having any specific plans. So I'm going to leave you there for tonight and I will catch you again tomorrow morning. See you in the morning! Good morning, happy Sunday. It's Sunday the 31st of January. I say morning, it's probably about 11 o'clock. We had a very nice lie-in. What time was it? No, 10 past 11. I had a very nice lie-in. Sorry, that's Harry doing the recycling. Switched into night mode last night, so I couldn't get to sleep till about one o'clock, but we did go to bed quite late. Just having some porridge um, and coffee, even though it's quite, it's lunchtime now pretty much. 
Um, done a workout, been watching Cheers Ears. Yeah, good morning so far. I've got a few jobs to do today. The boys need their haircuts, don't you? Yes. Yes, the boys need their haircut. I'm gonna go for a walk, usual jobs. And we'll take you with us. So we're doing it. Yeah. You don't look very happy. I know what happened last time. Nothing happened last time, I'm very good. I don't know what we do. Well, let's just see what happens. Jesus. I don't. <laughs> you look beautiful. Like private pile. <laughs> Are you excited? No. Harry's turn. <laughs> How long is your hair, Harry? Oh, it's a nice haircut. You will get a nice haircut. What are you laughing at? So we're all showered, changed, washed. The boys have had their haircuts. Um, Harry said he's not been on the vlog anymore because he doesn't like his hair. We had a few disagreements about how to do it. I think I need to watch some YouTube videos. Go to the trusted old guide of how to cut hair. We tried. We'll get better. Going out in the garden, and that's the noise you can hear because David is currently chopping a tree down. So let's go out and have a look. You are not making a rocket. <laughs> it looks a bit odd right now. Like a holy wrap Christmas present. It's all right, you, don't, you can't see hair, you got a hat on. So yeah, this is what we're currently doing. Trying to tidy the garden up. Come on then, watch out Harry. Good afternoon, a little time later. Finishing the garden, went to the tip, had some lunch. Just out for a walk now, aren't we? Yeah. Um, it's about four o'clock. So we're going to head to Costa, pick up a coffee, and then continue on our walk. It's freezing, isn't it? Yeah. Really, really, really cold. Oh, I can't feel my toes. It's freezing, but it's good to get out. Yeah. Yeah. You going to show us all your haircut yet? Not it's that. not that bad. It really isn't that bad. <gasps> Look, there we go. This is not a happy face. No Costa Coffee for us because we were two minutes late. Yes, apparently it should up four o'clock, not half past four, as I thought on the internet. So we're just heading down and finishing our walk off. I am absolutely frozen and need a coffee. All right, mm -hmm. you're hiding. So mm -hmm. we're just going down this little pathway and see, ooh, <laughs> see what we can find. Harry's a bit happier now. He's off this little walk down here. He's not been on before. Oh, <laughs> been on before, but I watched my step. Really quite cute, actually. Oh, best watch my step. <laughs> Still on a walk. It's starting to get a bit darker, but we're having a nosy at all the posh houses. Big posh one there. They've been everywhere around here. Houses are half live. They've got all gated and private driveways, and they're just big, big posh houses. I feel like I shouldn't be doing this. That one's got infrared cameras. I mean. The size of the the gates just tell you that they're worth a pop or two. Mm -hmm. It's very pretty around here. There are lots of lovely trees. I mean, the garage is bigger than our house. Back from the walk now. Did about three and a half miles. Gutted we couldn't get a coffee, but it was still nice just to get out in the fresh air. 
got something even better now. I saw this in Waitrose when we went there. It's a margarita spritz, elderflower and ginger. I'm gonna give it a whirl. I love margaritas, but it's not something you can get very easily in this country. I think I probably said it before on a vlog, but. Yeah, it's nice. Not the normal traditional margarita, but it's still nice nonetheless. Obviously the elderflower is quite overpowering, but I quite like it. There isn't much I don't like, to be honest. I'm gonna start making some tea, dinner? What do you call it? Do you call it dinner or tea? Um, I'm gonna start making some dinner. David and the kids are having sausages and I am having a gusto recipe. So I'm having smoky Spanish garlic prawns which look really, really, sorry, I don't know where that was pointing. I'm gonna have smoky Spanish garlic prawns. It looks really tasty. I absolutely love prawns, so. I might film this when David's making it, because I don't make them. David. We, we are just prepping the, I'll say we, I'll use the royal way. David is just prepping the smoky Spanish garlic prawns. So all the ingredients, oh, sorry, you don't see me. All your ingredients come with it. Three tomatoes, some parsley, some king prawns, some basmati, chili flakes, bay leaf, salad, red wine vinegar, tomato paste, garlic paste, sachet, and smoked paprika. I'm missing my suit, I'm missing my chef. Where's my chef gone? So, we'll get this one. Would you make any more noise? So he's chopped the tomatoes, he's chopped the parsley. What have you done here? Red wine, vinegar, olive oil, salt and pepper. Red wine, vinegar, olive oil, salt and pepper. You get some tomato paste, you get some paprika. Here's your roasted garlic paste. And your chilies. Ooh, mixing. Give it a good stir. So what do you reckon to the hair? It's buzz cut. Oh, shut up, it'll do. Covid cut. It's a Covid cut, totally a Covid <clears> cut. <throat> That's a Covid cough as well. Better not be. Couldn't what do we do now? Uh, do, do, do. Think. We just cook it? Yeah, just cook then. Okay. So we just need to cook it. They it's all kid, prepped. It's all prepped and ready. The kids Sausages are in the oven, the mashed potato is currently, well the potatoes are currently cooking. I'll come back to you in a minute. We've got the tomatoes frying in the garlic paste. We're gonna have, had, add some chili flakes and paprika. Oh, and tomato paste. Oh, and tomato paste. And tomato paste. Ooh, I have lots of tomato. Panic me now. The tomatoes aren't supposed to be on the hob. It's fine. Ah! One second rule. This is my dinner, not yours. I don't want to eat to. There you go. Gonna add the prawns now. Oh, look at those juicy bad boys. Excuse me. Oh, we're all steamed up. How nice does that look? So here we are, the finished product. We have got gorgeous prawns with some rice and some salad. And you get salad dressing with it as well. Oh, I can't wait to eat this. It looks amazing. Good evening, you lovely that. Oh, sorry. It's a couple of hours later. We're in, oh, we're in bed. I'm in bed. David's just in the bathroom, getting ready for bed. Dinner was lovely. It was really, really nice. Um, Highly recommended, very good. 
I love prawns anyway, so um, really, really enjoyed that. We have just chilled out, had a cup of tea, watched How to Get Away with Murder again. We're on season five now, so um, only this, only two seasons to go, and then it will be done. It's a lot to watch. <laughs> um, had a good day. I feel like it's been a really short day, but when you spend half of it in bed, then I'm not surprised really. Nice walk, nice tea, nice um, evening with the fam. Yeah, it's been great. Um, but yeah. That's it for today and I will catch you again in the morning. Good morning, happy Monday. Oh, what a beautiful morning. It's happy Monday, happy 1st of February. I've woken up to a beautiful day. Blue skies, sun is shining, but super, super cold. It's about zero degree, one degree. We're just heading out for a run as you can tell oh it feels good get moving guys whether you just go out for a quick 10 minute walk just get moving because it makes you feel so much better back from my run now I feel like the steam is coming off me it's that cold steam is literally rising from me beautiful weather not such a great run, but that's what happens sometimes. So about three miles. Just felt a little bit sluggish. But yeah, that's a, the way it goes sometimes. But look at it. I'm like a. I don't know what I'm like. <laughs> Something that's steaming hot. We'll go for a spa, shall we? <laughs> right, time for some breakfast and a shower. So it's quite a few hours later really, uh, had my breakfast, did some weights, had my breakfast, got showered and changed and went to Aldi. I'm just feeling a little bit down today, feeling very frustrated with everything. I keep going like this all day. Um, when Harry needs my help, the house is a mess, I need to go to the shops, feels like there's just not enough hours in the day. I, I start to get a little bit worked up. If the house is a total mess, I feel like I can't concentrate. Harry's asking for my help with schoolwork and I'm trying to navigate that and find stuff. And it's just not, when it's not organized, it really stresses me out. It puts my, in, like, I wouldn't even say anxiety levels. It just makes me just feel, ah, really just makes me feel like that. I just need to then, I think I need to write a list of everything that needs to do in, because I love writing my lists. Tackle it one thing at a time and just get going. Then I just start to feel like there's not, not enough hours in the day. It's already two o'clock in the afternoon. I've not even had my lunch yet. Um, school's almost finished. And there's still nothing has been done. Partly my fault, I suppose. I need to start getting up earlier, going for a run earlier, exercising earlier. That's what I think I'm gonna have to start doing because by the time I've done that, which is a really important thing for me to do, it's then almost lunchtime. And by the time I've been to the shops and done all the jobs, nothing seems to get done. I wasn't even very productive at Aldi. I need to start writing food plans and I didn't do that again. I think we've all got this free time. Well, I haven't really, because I'm obviously working over other hours, but apart from that, I'm not doing the school run. What am I doing with all these hours? I feel like I need to be a bit more productive <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyone else feeling like this? Um, leave a comment down below if you are. Message me if you are. Because, yeah, I'm sorry. This is just how I'm feeling. I know I seem genuinely, most of the time I feel like I'm upbeat on the camera, but this is just how I'm feeling right now. And I kind of need to tell you because we all feel like this. We all feel like we're not getting things done properly. And here's Harry, because he probably wants me to help with his schoolwork, don't you? No. Well, you probably tell him you've made a mess with that sausage roll? Yes. Great little thing to do. So I'm going to drink my cup of tea. Um, I'd like to say no coffee, but I have just had a nice um, iced coffee from Tesco. Looks a little bit strange, and it even stains my 
the string bit yellow because it's turmeric tea. Um, I was watching the so turmeric active tea. I was watching Cheers and Kefo recommended turmeric tablets for helping with anti inflammatory properties. But I like this turmeric tea, so I'm going to keep drinking this and see how we go. So I'm going to drink this, have my lunch, and then I am going to get cracking with the jobs. It's a beautiful day outside. I think everyone needs to go and step outside, take a moment and just breathe because it's so beautiful and calm. The sun is shining here in Manchester for once and it just feels incredible. That vitamin D just makes me smile. So let me crack on and let me see if I can improve my mood. So I'll see you in a bit. So we're in the car, obviously, and we're driving. Harry's being my cameraman and we're off to pick up a secret surprise, I suppose, a magic bag. Let me just get out there. No, make sure you're filming me, Harry, not, not right. my arm. All right. Um, let me get out the junction. So if any of you have watched um, Timo Sullivan and they have recently got into Too Good To Go, now, David found this apple quite a while ago, but having seen what they have got from Too Good To Go, I have been trying to do it. So the options so far have not been great. Um, the only place that I've found anywhere for is a burrito. I didn't want the burrito. So we are off to a... Where are we going? Oh, We're going to Altrigo to go to a coffee shop. Make sure you're yeah. filming my, me, not yeah. my arse. Sorry. Uh, we're going to a coffee shop I know what they've got, so I think they must shut soon. I need to pick it up between half past three and half past four. It was four pound. Don't know what we're gonna get. It says a selection of sandwiches, pasta pots, cakes, pastries. It's not, I'm not really sure what they're gonna get. So this is where we're headed. And who knows? I'm a bit steamed up. I'm just walking to find it, but I can't see a thing because the, um, the light packs up. Gonna find where we're going. I know it's just up here, but I'm not sure how for much further. And this is where we're going, it's called Grand Tea's Coffee House. Let's go and get it. So I'm packed from the shop. Four pounds was worth it for the giggle Harry and I just had on the way home. So it put a smile on my face. <laughs> Tried to send David a message to tell him what we'd got, and Siri kept playing it back to me, but was getting it wrong because I was trying to say four, and he kept saying four. But it, he had to be there, I suppose. <laughs> so, what we got? We got a lot for our money, put it that way. We did get a lot for our money. And if I suppose if I wasn't in the fussiest house in the world, it'd be quite good. It's so variable, I think, what you get on the day. So she basically went in and checked the shelves to see what was going out of date, because they're obviously shutting soon, and gave us loads of stock. So I think if you went to a baker's, or even if the food was going out of date, because there was loads of cream teas on the shelf, that if it had today's date on it, we would have got, got given that. So what we got, let me show you. <laughs> Sorry, just making a hot chocolate for Harry so the hot milk is in there. So I'll save the best to last. So the first thing we got was ham and cheese toasty. So David's gonna have this for his lunch tomorrow, which is not bad. I think, yeah, just whack it in on a toasty machine or a griddle, all good. But then we have one, ham, cheese and Branston pickle. Two, three, four. We have four ham, cheese and Branston pickle. All on a, looks like a 50-50 loaf, I think it is. So, four ham and cheese pickle. If it didn't have the pickle, everybody would eat it. But one, Harry and Emily do not eat bread. Two, they don't eat ham. Well, no, that tells a lie. Harry eats ham in a wrap sometimes. Gives Emily goosebumps, apparently. No, she doesn't like ham. That was something she said when she was a kid and doesn't like it now. Yeah, so um, I'm not quite sure what to do with all these ham, cheese and pickle <laughs> sandwiches. Um, yeah, but, the last thing that I need to show you is the last one, which is good. We got some cake too, which looks like a Jaffa cake. So I think it's really good 
So we'll definitely eat that. We'll definitely eat that. I'll definitely eat one of them. So these three together, is it worth four pounds? Absolutely. Ooh. There we go. Thank you. How's it taste? Nice. Enjoy. Got my coffee now. Harry's got his hot chocolate. David's got his cup of tea. But shh, it'd be rude not to try some. It's not something I would have picked in the shop, but that is delicious. The chocolate is really rich and obviously it's very Jaffery. Is that a word? Is Jaffery a word? Comment down below, do you think Jaffery is a word? I do. It is now. Just have another one just to make sure. Oh yeah. Definitely. Should I save some for David? Yeah, I bet I had. Because he'll, he'll no doubt watch this because he has to edit it. So we have had dinner, I had a lovely sausage, um, it's a bit like a sausage casserole, a, a leading 15 recipe, um, sausages with sort of like celery and courgette and a few other bits, so it was really nice, just had served it with some veg. David and the kids had a pizza that we, I bought from Waitrose when I dipped in there, it was actually really nice, a stone baked pizza, got a from Harry so I can't have gone too wrong. David's just making a brew. Guess what's on the telly? How to get away with murder. I'm gonna watch that and then just have a chilled out the rest of the evening. I'm gonna call it here. This is it. This is the end of the vlog, um, end of this week's vlog. Um, on nights the rest of the week. Don't need to see that. So thanks for watching guys. Thanks for making it towards the end. Don't forget to give us a big thumbs up, please. And leave all your comments down below. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.